Hello again, everybody. I'm Bumbleoot, and of course, this is uh, Buttercup here, the German Pointer Dog. Um, we're in a good mood today because we finally figured out our microphone problem. Um, I'll get into that in a little bit, anyways. Uh, but I wanted to continue a little bit with the Pointer Dog um, from my from my first video there. Uh, a few a few important things still to go over. So we're just on White Heart Island here, just on the south. Uh, the south portion of it. We're just going to do a bit of a whitetail hunt just so you guys can see um, how that is done and sort of the advantages and all, all the little little things that uh, that buttercup here brings to the table. So what we have here is just the good old 243. I like this little rifle and I just heard a buck call. Did you hear that buttercup? I heard that buck call. And it is off to the west. Mm, looks like yeah, that's about 200 meters there, so you're going to be able to pick up on that right away. And I also brought my favorite weapon of the HR, the 10-point crossbow. And there's uh, a few things I do want to show you guys. Um, one of them is about the, uh, the spook penalty, the undocumented um, penalty to spooking when, when Buttercup here is, uh, is pointing at at a deer or any other species they just they can detect you just that much easier um, when she is I will demonstrate that I probably will not demonstrate that on this buck but let's head this way for a little bit here I'm not going to send buttercup out too fast um, because if I send her out now she's gonna crouch and walk slowly for 200 meters towards this buck and it'll, it'll take a while so we're just going to casually stroll through the beautiful White Heart Island scenery here and see what this buck has to offer. So I hope that uh, my first video helped out a bunch of people there. A big thanks to Who Cares. He uh, commented on, on that video and he posted it onto the wiki. So hopefully people will see it there and it can help them out. A lot of good good points in that video. Took took my uh, or gave my voice a hard time there talking so much, but it is a pretty complicated little system they've built around this dog. Um, so the buck's pretty close here, so we'll do the old F11 for the uh, hot key. Oh, geez, right there. I don't even need the dog. Buck strolling out here. What do we got? I don't even see any antlers. Oh, there's a, there's a couple antlers on them there. Let's just... Well, here, maybe I'll... Uh, use nothing special. Maybe we will demonstrate this. Um, spook penalty. So there she goes. <clears throat> She's off. at her lightning pace here again that's uh, must have been a balancing balancing um, decision there for the devs to keep it so you can't just run around just getting everything there he is calling there straight ahead as you remember I uh, key mapped uh, the wheel to to one of my mouse buttons so I can highlight easily and she is about to point there she's pointing now so this buck now this is my own theory because it's not really confirmed anywhere and just from my experience in, in hunting a lot of whitetail when she's pointing and that symbol's down in the bottom left uh, she, that buck has got some kind of bonus to detection here now if I go forward, see that that buck is in its normal neutral state. It's not it's not called in, it's not alerted. I'm gonna see what happens here, because I'm still experimenting with this. She's moving forward. He's not looking this way. She should whimper when he's about to spook. And this is for science here, because 
I found this out hunting whitetail doe. They were detecting me where they would never detect me before. <clears throat> I mean, I was laying down on the other side of hills and they were spooking. I can't see this guy anymore. I'm going to stay behind her. He called again. I didn't hear it. <clears throat> We're right behind him. Yep, she just whimpered there. I don't know if you would have heard that. But that means he's about to spook. Now, I've come up behind these white tails before, and if you don't call them in, they're not looking for anything. You can get pretty close to them. He was about to spook. Now, which way is he looking? Did he turn around? No, he's still walking away. Now, normally... Normally I can keep crouching behind these guys. That's my distance here. 48 meters or so. She's still pointing. She should advance. Now she's lost um, the point. So his detection penalty's gone now but I'm gonna you know just to sort of speed this up when she points I'm gonna keep crouching just see how quick he detects because I am certain I can get fairly close when they're walking away from me because I've had these um, these doe white tail doe spook where they certainly were not spooking before Oh wait, that's not going to work because you go in front of her, she uh, lets you take over. Oh, there he called again. is right there he's not too far so there now he should be ha or have heightened senses here well it's not too bad actually because no well, he's certainly uh, not detecting me and she gave up on him again as a side note, this is a good way to level up your dog. Um, each time I reassign that command, um, she gets experience points. And once she uh, detects again, and there's another tip for you. You could just keep spotting the same deer over and over again. So it might be making a liar out of me, but I'm certain there's some, there is a change there when those deers are are detected. Okay, being detected. Where'd he go? I completely lost him. You go to sleep. Of course, can't command when crouched. That's one of the bugs. You gotta stand up. And she's just gonna get experience points again. There. So he went down here. I couldn't hear. Was that a whimper? He's right there. All right. Well, he's not going to spook then. All right. Fair enough. But I'm certain there's something on there. I will do another test here. Because I've had... I've been 
over 30 meters away prone and on the other side of a hill and the deer and it was a white tailed doe several times um, several times on their side of the hill there was no line of sight and I was laying down crawling to get close for a bow shot and it would spook and many of them did it and it only happened when she was pointing but it appears that no there he spooked there or no what's he doing there if that was a spook that was the shortest spook ever Hmm. Oh well. He's just begging or er, uh, begging to be taken out here. A little practically a spike. And maybe the game's crashing. No, it's not. All right. Oh, there he goes. Because so, I stood up, and there goes another one. We're surrounded. Well, that was an interesting uh, leg spike there. <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh, still good for science. So back to the drawing board on that one. I cannot explain those previous deer spooking because they would have there. Hmm. I will continue to look into that. That was my main purpose of this video, was to kind of show how they uh, detected you easier, and it's going to make a liar out of me today. There are a couple other benefits I wanted to let you guys know about um, with that dog. Since it's got 200 meter radius, pretty much the whole hunter, hunter mate, um, you, can, you can just activate her, run around, and if you're targeting one specific, or specific species, she will detect uh, everything there so if you if you you know keep loading a map run over again and kind of run around you can get a better feel for the spawn rates uh, than you could have before since um, she will detect everything you can really get a good feel for how many white tail are actually down here I know there's a lot of them but if you spend some time with the dog down here just detecting white tail and you can pretty much do an extinction kind of hunt down here. Because she will find them all. And I'm kind of curious. I, I sort of want to do that myself. Uh, see how many whitetail I can locate down here. So, there was a, uh, a doe up here. She's detected something right away. Where are you going? There's something this way, you say. All right, let's check this out. We'll give this one more uh, test run here. Yeah, I've been trying to figure that out. Um, my experience with the, I don't know, Seems kind of random now. They have done a lot of hunting of whitetail and mule deer. And those doe, they're pretty dense. They won't detect you. You can run up on them half the time. And these, uh, there's something there because these whitetail doe, they, I, I was well over 30 meters away on either side of it. Like no line of sight, uh, laying down, just moving forward. And they busted me and it was just a doe. All right, she's spotting something there. Maybe I can do this test here. Who do you see? What is it here? Oh, gave up, got too close maybe. She'll even detect them when they're sleeping. That's caught me off guard a couple times, trying to see what she's looking at and you pretty much walk right on top of the animal. Well she says there was something here. Stand up again to give the command. Problem is when you stand up you can spook things. 
What are you whimpering about? Oh, there she was, yep. Is she sleeping? She was sleeping. Hey, there it is. <laughs> oh, I walked right on top of her. And you're still pointing. Oh, what a good dog. Here. Have a cookie. Well, for uh, for hunting's sake, um, this, you know, not really going too hot here for actually getting any harvest. And it's not proving my point. So, oh well, it's a fun thing to play the game anyways here. And I'm still in a good mood because I fixed my mic problem. At least I think I did. I will find out once I upload and listen to this. Uh, turns out, since I'm such a noob at recording here. Now, I didn't know this, but uh, I'm just using a standard 3.5mm audio in jack. And my cell phone was ca was causing the distortion. And the cell phone's a few feet away. And that's what was doing it. Cell signal. So I'm glad I finally figured out what was causing that. Trying to think of anything else I need to show. I was pretty thorough in the other video. And this one's not uh, not proving my point. So now I keep running some tests on that. You can let me know down in the comments if anybody uh, tests that out. Um, I did uh, another funny video there that I sent into um, sent to the devs there just to show them the, the three bugs bothered me the most on that last one. And that's that cannot detect mule deer. That that kind of gets me there. Because dog's just so good for logger's point. If it could detect mule deer, you could just clear out so many animals. Well, what do we got here? Just a doe. Oh, they're over there. So, you nervous? You're nervous. But yeah, if you want to level up the dog, once you get uh, to level 34, you can come here to White Heart, and you get more experience for detecting deer. I mean, there's nothing stopping you on a two-minute cooldown to just detect this whitetail over and over again. I mean, if you want to see the detection, I'll send, uh, of course, I'm crouched, doesn't work. I will send Buttercup out, just kind of, well, I'll demonstrate this since I got the recording going. If it helps you level up. But detecting the same deer over and over again, that seems to really wear down the how tired the dog is. See how it's refreshed 200% in the top? Yeah, she gets wore down pretty quick when detecting. Where is she? There she is. Oh, yeah, she's there. She's warning me I'm going to spook that deer. There it goes. That was not the dog. That was me. So, I mean, she was nervous, I guess. But I don't think there was line of sight there. And I laid down as soon as that whimper went. I don't, maybe it's just on a uh, bug with white tailed doe and the spot. Eh, the dog wasn't spotting though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll chalk that one up to the deer being nervous. Uh, I've sent this dog in many, many times in white tail, and it's not the dog doing it. I mean, I can have the same white tailed doe there, and I can send that dog out. And I mean,. I mean, just imagine the dogs or the deer's down on that road. I mean, I can send the dog out to spot it, pull the dog back, send the dog back out, spot it again, and that and the deer never, uh, never spooks. Uh, the only time it would spook is if, um, is if the dog spotted it and I'm crawling to it, uh, sort of like this. I mean, over 30 meters away, I've never been busted by a doe, and it would spook on me. So. That's what got it thinking in my head. There's some sort of penalty or something going on there. But I suppose I've only ever really seen it with the, the white-tailed doe. 
So who knows? That's what I was going to demonstrate, though, is, is um, you can keep sending that dog back and forth. I did it um, a few times there to speed up that loving process, but she does get tired pretty quick uh, doing it. Uh, but yeah, you just send her out 40 meters, detects it, recall her back, send her out again. Well, give her a cookie in between. And she will, you, you can keep doing that. And the doe never spooked. I did it many, many times and several different ones. And you know what I didn't even realize? She's still tracking her. She's way up there. That's the initiative there, pup. Keep hunting while I'm blabbing on. But I do want to kind of end the video soon so it doesn't get too long since uh, not I don't seem to be killing anything or proving much of my points, but uh, oh, hopefully this is helpful somehow. And she's still going. Uh, who's that calling? A new one. Over in that direction as well. Maybe that's where she's going. Who knows? Always a surprise with the tracker dog. Or I guess the pointer dog. The tracker dog would be the sand hound, I guess. I don't know where she's going. She seems to be skipping the one that just called. Now I do want to get one harvest for the video. So it's going to be a doe, probably. Yep, I'm whimpering. I'm going to spook something. It is a handy... Uh, Yeah, I just heard a spook. That would have been one to the right, though. That was standing up, so... She's still going on that one, though. And it can't be much further. We're going to run into the water here. And I heard another spook go, and that was probably... That was probably her... Is that her running? There, there's her running down there. Hmm. So I gotta do some testing on this one. Can't quite figure that out. I think she would have still been nervous. That's the thing. I have sent that dog to Whitetail hundreds of times leveling her up, and she never spooked them. It's always been me. See, she was detected, and I was this far away, and she spooked. I mean, it's easy to blame that on the dog, but just my experience. That doesn't matter what that dog did. The deer never spooked. So that might be what I was talking about there. That's probably the closest thing, because she was way down halfway to the water here. It might be related to that warning whimper. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep running some tests on that. And if anybody else uh, experiences that, please let me know somehow through the forum or, or through the comments here. Because uh, there is some sort of change there. And I just can't pinpoint it. It's, it's too random. It, that one looks like maybe the dog spooked, but it's just saying. I, I mean, I've done it hundreds of times, leveling all the way up to level 45. And she, ne I, I sent her out so many times. She's never spooked. It's always been something, something to do with me. So I think I will just cut the video there. Uh, I mean, I don't know how helpful this one will be, but uh, I do want to get some kind of harvest. So maybe I'll tack one on here in the end. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back here. Um, it's just a doe. I gotta harvest something though. It's the same one that ran away. She's right there. Just gonna end with uh, see if I can do some fancy crossbow shooting here. 53 meters. I don't have my wind indicator, so I'm gonna assume the wind's good, and we're just gonna knock her out. 
or not. <laughs> it lifted at the last second. <laughs> That's great. That's great. No problem. Let's try again. No harm in trying again here. 52. Alright. 52. I'll blame the wind on that one lifting it up there. I'm just crouched here. Let's try 52. Which will be about there. And now she's gone. See? Just ignore that first one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I don't Can't win them all. So yeah, I've, uh, this is my favorite weapon. I've I've sighted that in. Um, pretty accurately. It's just the wind gets me sometimes on the longer shots. But no, that the first one that it just kind of lifted when I shot there. So this one, yeah, I've put lots of time into this ten point. I really love the ten point. Um, you got those uh, four dots there. So ten meters. Well, the the official store says ten meters, twenty, thirty, forty. Uh, but I really, I really took it to the range there and tested it. But yeah, it's definitely 10 and 20, the top two, but that, that third dot shoots high. So if you put that right on 30, your bolt hits high. 30 is actually the top of that circle, the top of that third circle. 33 is right on, pretty much. 32 or 33. And the bottom one, again, it shoots high as well. It, uh... Uh, 40 meters is just kind of like the top of that circle, and it's about 43 meters uh, dead on dead uh, center of that circle. That bottom line before, uh, right on that line is 55. The space above it will be 50, and the area just below it on that line is 60. So you could do some pretty reliable 60 meter shots, 55 meters. So that was 52, and that's probably double lung. Um, maybe I'll get surprised and it'll be spine if I shot high again. But, um, yeah, double lung, so. Yeah, I do a bunch with that 10 point. It's my favorite weapon. But, uh, so I think that'll, that'll end the video. Uh, thanks for watching again. I'll, I'll keep, uh, chugging away with some videos. I'm trying to think of some ideas to do here. And, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and everybody take care.